Greetings, I'm John Watsky, Dean of the School of Education. Thank you for your interest in becoming a pilot teacher. With us today are students and one alum and our program counselor, Kelly Brown. Hi, I'm Kelly. I am the program counselor for teacher licensure programs here at UP. First, I want to introduce you to our panelists today. So panelists, if you could um, introduce yourselves, uh, say what year you are in the program or year you are in your career. Um, and what drew you to the program. Let's start with Haley. Hi, I'm Haley. I am a freshman. I'm majoring in elementary education with a minor in theology. And I was initially really attracted to coming to UP because of the three plus one program. So I'm doing my undergraduate degree in three years and then my master's the fourth year. And since being a campus, I've just loved the community feel and I've just loved that I've been able to get right in the classroom. So I've jumped into field experience and been helping in a kindergarten and a first grade class these last two semesters. Hi, I'm Sarabi. I'm a senior secondary education and math major. And what initially drew me to UP was um, the hands-on experience and in-classroom experience that you get starting your first year. And I think that's really helpful just to get right into it. And you can, you have four years to grow. So I think that was really nice. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm a sophomore elementary education major. And initially what drew me to UP was um, all the field work that we get to do from day one of our freshman year, pretty much. Um, and yeah, like Sarabi said, you just get to grow throughout your four years and you get to get right in the classroom, so. Hi, I'm Kayla. I graduated in 2014 and I'm now fifth grade teacher up in Issaquah, Washington. Um, I have to echo what the other lady said about the field experience was invaluable. It was great that since day one I was in a classroom and got to see a variety of classrooms, a variety of teachers that I could learn from. Um, and that was wonderful and helped me really figure out who I wanted to be as a teacher. So I'm Severin. Uh, I am a education and math double major. Um, I'm also doing the three plus one program. So I am in the middle of that. Um, and I am going into my junior year here at UP. So our first question is kind of for all of you. So when you answered in your introduction um, very eloquently what appealed to you about the program, um, uh, why do you want to be, like, what made you want to become a teacher specifically um, at UP? Um, if you have things to add that you didn't mention in your introduction, um, we can go one by one. Um, so let's start with Kayla for this one. Okay, perfect. Um, one thing I do want to add is I really appreciated the small class sizes. Um, that was something that was really important for me. I did not want to be in huge lecture halls and trying to understand information and be confused about work and not be able to go to my professor. So I felt like UP did an excellent job keeping small class sizes. I felt like I had very close relationships with all my peers and my teachers. I always felt like I could go to office hours. Um, and they're still professors to this day, even though I've graduated several years ago, that I still reach out to. So I love that community feel. Um, that really made a big difference for me. Um, and that was another big reason why I chose EP. Yeah, and Kayla touched on something really important. Um, uh, our program is large enough to give you many opportunities, but it's small enough that you will be known and get lots of individual attention. So like Kayla talked about, you will um, you know, foster relationships with your faculty, with me, with your faculty advisor, with our placement director um, and our placement team. Um, you're never ever gonna feel just like a name on a roster, like you are known, we will know you and you will know us. So we think that's pretty cool. Um, Elizabeth, do you have um, things to add about what appealed to you about our, being a teacher at UP? Yeah, so I think when I was looking into different colleges, the big thing that I was noticing was that a lot of colleges didn't have an education major. And so I would have had to get my um, degree in psychology or so, you know, some subject and then get my master's in education. Then another thing that appealed to me um, was that, or that I looked at at other colleges was um, the student teaching like we talked about before. So a lot of schools, you don't get to go into the field class into your field placement until like junior or senior year and by then you have all these ed courses that you've done and then what if you don't like it and so UP is kind of the best of both worlds where you get to major in education if you want to and then you also get the hands-on from day one um so that was when looking at different colleges one of the main things that I um definitely appreciated about UP was um the major and the field placement 
Fantastic. Um, let's take it over to Haley. Yeah, so I actually have a very similar situation to Elizabeth's. I always knew I wanted to go into teaching, but then as I was looking at colleges, it was a lot of, oh, take child development or take psych as your major and then go back to school. And then I saw UP and UP's like, we'll give you a master's and a degree in education. And so that initially sparked my interest, but it wasn't until I got to campus and I really felt the community and I did want a small school as well to get that personalized attention. And so I definitely was really satisfied when I found that UP fit everything I wanted. And then just coming here and meeting all the people in the education program specifically, they do a really good job of incorporating us and you know, re really having us connect with our classmates so that we can reach out and then our professors as well. Yeah, fantastic. All right, so Robbie, uh, um, and your senior year, um, what what have you, what are your thoughts? Um, kind of, I agree with what everyone else, every with everything that everyone else said. Um, I also remember when I was looking at schools, I knew I wanted to be a teacher, but I'm from California, and I'll, basically every program I looked at in California, it takes you five years because you need to do your undergrad and then you need to get your credential. But what I really liked about UP is that you can do your undergrad and your credential. And now we have a four plus one program, so you can just do it all in four years. So that was the nice part about UP and Oregon in general. Yeah, fantastic. Severin, what advice do you have for people considering UP? Oh, uh, what drew me into the, um, the, the, the school here, the School of Education particularly, just was um, mainly like how much it seemed to like prepare me for, uh, for teaching in the wider world because of because of like the the field experience that it allows you to do starting the first semester so that I knew that I could find out whether or not I wanted to do this teaching thing I knew that I would figure that out soon enough and so I wouldn't be wasting my college time but I found out that I really enjoyed it and so I've stuck with it well, that's excellent advice from all of you. Um, I want to take this opportunity to just thank all of our panelists. Obviously, these are some unique circumstances under which we are hosting this panel. Um, so you all are awesome. Um, thank you so much for sharing your time and perspective and experience with us. Um, and thank all of you for watching in this weird format. Uh, normally, we do these on campus in person. We really look forward to the day when we can welcome you to campus and show you around in person. But for the time being, um, we're happy that you spent this time with us here today. Well, and thanks so much for your attention. We'll uh, display information if you'd like to reach out to the School of Education. We'd love to put you in touch with a current student, talk to a faculty member. Of course, Kelly Brown can talk to you about your own special plans, your personal plan for your education major, and how to make that work in four years as well. Uh, be well. We look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye, everyone.